It is snowing in the middle of April. Uh, I'm going to cry. Hey horrors and welcome to my channel. I'm having like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like tight chestness. Coronavirus! Welcome to the story time of me sleeping with my teacher. Supposedly. I have quite a bit of funny stories from my time in high school that I think I should share with you guys. And I decided what better way to do that than to be doing my makeup. I don't know if I should do my everyday makeup or if I should just do like a cute makeup. But we'll see. We'll see what I'm in the mood for. Because I think for like my every... Mm, we'll see. We'll see what I'm in the mood for. So yeah. Grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a blunt, do what you gotta do, and just enjoy the fucking ride. So I'm gonna be um, linking everything in the description box um, if I forget to mention them, but I'm gonna be starting off with my moisturizer because, girl, I gotta moisturize, okay? This started senior year of high school. I'm not gonna be saying the name because, you know what? They be on some shicey stuff, okay? They be on some shicey stuff. They might do a lawsuit, man. Like, they're shicey, dude. You know? Senior year, I was thriving. I was living my best life. Here is my under eye cream. Found her. I'm using the Kiehl's under eye treatment with avocado. It was senior year, and I was thriving. I was living my best life. I felt as if no one could talk to me and no one could say anything about my attitude or my personality because I felt as if I was going through a midlife crisis at the age of 18. I just, I just, I was going downhill, which is fine. It's fine. It happens. We move on. We live and we learn, right? Correct. Correct. Natasha Silk Canvas Primer. The way how my school worked, we, you can either get in through like your grades, your eighth grade grades, or through a program. I got into the program. And through the program was a business program. And <laughs> the ship as. Um, it started sophomore year and through senior year. You're supposed to like, get a certificate, stuff like that. So, like when you go to college, like you already have it, whatever, whatever. I only had one semester of business before the teacher quit because um, the school didn't want to fund our program. So, thank you. So then the entire second half of the semester, there was no teacher. Absolutely no teacher. Junior year. I didn't have a class. I didn't have um, the program class, and that's part of my credit. Too. Senior year, they decided it's the bright idea to put me and other of the business students in engineering. What am I gonna be doing in engineering? Because I know I ain't gonna be doing no damn bridges, no damn potholes. We have a teacher. I really don't remember how this went. Oh yes I do. So we had I think um like a substitute. We had a substitute for the first couple of weeks, like a month or two, because the engineering teacher that was supposed to teach us was in China. You're doing great. And one day, this lovely man who I grew very fond of <laughs> walks in. This lengthy six foot something man walks in and I'm like, huh? His first time talking to us was him yelling at us. If you're not gonna respect me, or if you're not gonna do the work, I'm calling security. Like he called like security on like four students. And then he, <laughs> I hate when teachers ask me to do something that I know I'm not supposed to be doing. He was like, hey, you. I was like, ah. He was like, can you grab security? Uh -uh. So I actually do go to get security well, and I was like look man like he wants me to get you so you can come and get a student that apparently doesn't want to do the work and he literally was like that's like his fifth time today I guess you can say we got off on the wrong foot like as a whole the class but in like a month and we started warming up on him so we give it a month and we're all bestie westies at this point he was a very chill teacher he was like one of those teachers where like students would go to all the students loved him all the students loved him like students that weren't even his students like knew about him he was that teacher you know i'm pretty sure we all, we've all had that one teacher i ended up getting along with him 
because I realized I was like he's pretty chill to talk to and I felt like I was like we have the same characteristics right and I was like we have the same characteristics I was like so what's your horoscope he was a Gemini as well I was like that okay I know everyone is like that when they meet someone that they, have, that they have the same horoscope. I mean, if you're into it, if not, whatever. So I was like, oh, I was like, so you're crazy too. So I sat in the back table and I was like, what am I doing here when I can sit over there? So that was the beginning of me sitting next to him at the front desk for the rest of the year. That was my seat. For the rest of the year i literally do not know why i was just like i'm just gonna sit next to you when he didn't mind it at all because we had great conversations we had great conversations every day we just talked about everything he knew about like what i was doing senior year who i was talking to senior year i was putting a restraining order on my ex and then i saw him go through a breakup with shorty i've seen it i've seen it all i've seen it all with him for that year span at least and then he told me about his life and like he was a great person he had like four sources of income like he was just doing he was just chilling you know he was just fine by so in my mind i was like if i can annoy him one period why not do it in the rest of my few periods <sighs> so that's exactly what i did i wouldn't have a teacher first period i'd have a sub but like I didn't have a teacher fifth period because he was a sad, sad, sad ice cream cone shaped ass man who hated everyone and himself and so he expressed it on everyone else. Go to his class either because he was just being rude and just snappy. And then my lunch period, I would spend it with him or sometimes with my friends in the art class. But at this point, like, security knows. Like, security has caught on that I'm not going to certain classes. And they're like, they tried to locate me and they certainly found me next to his desk. That's where I felt comfortable. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm re I promise I didn't do anything. Dang. So fast forward the week before my birthday. He told me, he was like, if you do this pop essay, I will give you a birthday cake for your birthday. And I've never had the Portillo's chocolate chip or the chocolate Portillo's cake. He was like, yes, but you have to do the pothole essay. And this pothole essay, it literally took, um, it was due in like a week or two, right? It literally took us like a month or two to get it done. Or for at least for him to force everyone to do it because no one was doing it. I wasn't doing a pothole essay that I literally finished within like 30 minutes. But when you incorporate food and especially a food that I've been wanting to try and that I've never had now we're talking it's actually the fit me stick foundation but i just use it for contour it's in the shade coconut i finished that essay and i was like alrighty she's done she's complete I ended up the year with a b in that class which i was like okay with here comes my birthday oh she's 18 the night before that i went out and i got really <laughs> drunk i had to wake up at seven in the morning six in the morning for school and i was like oh and I completely forgot that he said he'd bring me a chocolate cake to class. I was like, <gasps> and he was like, happy birthday. And I was like, oh, happy birthday. Like the sweetest thing. Like I, oh, I considered him a friend. I was like, you're a really good friend. So you already know. Can I have a piece of cake? Can I have a piece of cake? Can I have a piece of cake? And I was like, cake for everyone, bitch. You already know the vibes. So while we're eating our chocolate cake, we're all just chilling. We're all just vibing. We're all listening to music. And then apparently he in, he invited his favorite staff members or whatever to grab a piece of cake. In comes in. In she walks in and she prances in. So what's going on here? It's my birthday. I see that. Why are you next to him? I always sit here. And she's like, This shorty was appalled when I tell you I was sitting here. Do you think it's okay for you to be sitting next to your teacher like that? And you think it's okay for letting your student be like that? I've heard rumors about you that you two are way too close. How do you think this looks? 
I think this would like literally, literally everyone, the entire class was just like, "What are you talking?" Like they were just looking at her like, "What are you? What are you doing?" What are you doing, dude? And I was like, it doesn't look like anything because we're not doing anything. I was like, what do you mean? This is completely unacceptable. Every student is supposed to have their assigned seat. You're over here on FaceTime during during school hours. I was all on FaceTime with my girlfriend. She was just listening everything. She was like, what? Like, what's the problem? Tell me what's the problem and then we might fix it. It was like mad and then she like had this anger that made it seem like she was just girl focus on your three babies from three different baby daddies i was like what's the issue she's like what's the issue <clears throat> so at this point everyone was just like confused as to why she's upset whatever stay mad well at this point like my teacher himself was even like just ignore her like as she was like rambling on her like just ignore her whatever i was just like shocked that she was upset i was like oh Okay, maybe she liked them. Maybe she liked the other four students. <gasps> we'll get to what happened to her later. So at this point, she's like, I, she's like, I can't, I can't, I can't do with this. I can't do with this. What? So she proceeds to leave. And we all would just kind of look at each other like, and two seconds later, she comes back. She's like, so you're not gonna give me a piece of cake? And I was like, what? Just looked at him and I was like, you know what? You bought it, just give her cake. I wanted to cry because I was like, you literally just made a scene for no reason. And if you bring this to admin, making it seem something it's not, we're gonna have an issue right before graduation, sweetie. It's me, I'll have guests, yes. Then I had to talk to the principal. Like, so it came to my attention. And I was like, I'm not sleeping with him. I'm not sucking it. I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to. I just have a, a good relationship with my teacher. And I was just like, listen, man, I'm in my last couple of weeks. The last thing I need is for you guys to be thinking that I'm sucking some teacher. So that's not the case. That wasn't ever going to be the case. We were just chill. Y'all just upset. She later on then got upset that like nothing happened. Every time I'd go to the office for anything, she just always had an attitude with me. Like she was just upset. And I was like, y'all definitely had something, bro. Y'all definitely had something. Well, I don't know. So then here comes my favorite part of the story. This past January, around the holiday season, there's a speculation. A staff member was in fact sleeping around with a student. But not one, not two, three. There's allegedly three or four students that that staff member was sleeping with. I was like, dang, I was like, who is this other than Patricia? That's not her name, but I wanted to give her Patricia. The staff member that tried to, um, Ruined my birthday. It was her. If I remember correctly, I think two two boys and one girl. Oh, so we go to both sides here, Patricia. Come on. I was dying. I was the definition of six feet under fucking crying. They confessed or they spoke up about it. They might have set her ass up. Sorry, I had to change that lip color because it, it was it was bothering me that I wasn't like actually looking like pink instead of like peach on the camera. So yeah guys, that was the story of how I supposedly slept with my teacher. Well to the story she was just upset because she was going through that. I'm telling you, karma will work its way. Just be patient, but karma will always get to a person. I promise you. I promise you. I just I just found this a funny story to share to you guys because who would have thought the person that was accusing me ended up being actually part of that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, my Instagram and my Snapchat's gonna be on the bottom if you guys want it. And also comment down below any other video ideas you guys would like to see from me and I would definitely, definitely, definitely be reading them and taking notes on what to post. So thank you so much for watching and yeah, I will see you guys later.